Hello, how are you all? Today I am here to continue the concept of vectors equation of a plane. We studied in the previous video the vector equation and Cartesian equation of the plane. And now we will continue with the rest of the concept of plane uh, which are part of CIE A-level exam. So we will continue with the vector um, angle between two planes. Now when you have to find the angle between two planes, you actually find the angle between their normals. It is equal to each other. So if two planes are given to you, it means you know their normals. 3, minus 1, 4, 2, 3 and minus 1 are the normal vectors of these planes. So if you apply dot product or the scalar product, which gives you angle between two planes, you will see that angle is 68.5. So this is how you find out the vector, uh, the angle between two given planes. And now we will see how to find the perpendicular distance from a point to a line. This is concept number four. So let's see an example. The example says find the distance from this point to this plane. So let's imagine this is my plane and this is the point. And I have to find a distance. By the way, if it is written distance, it means perpendicular distance. It means shortest distance. So it is understood thing. So now if I have to find out this distance, it means I need to know this point. If I know this point, it means I can apply magnitude on these two. Like suppose this is A, this is B. I can apply magnitude on vector AB. So my um, approach will be, to find out this point. Now to find out this point, I need to know the equation of this line. Now the equation of this line is very easy to find out. Because it is perpendicular to the plane, it means the normal which is 3, 4, minus 5, which is the normal of the plane is actually the direction of the line. And I know the point. It means to find the equation of the line, I have a direction of the line, I have a point on the line. So using the direction and the point, I can find the equation of the line. Now this line is actually intersecting the plane. So if I substitute this x, y, z coordinates of the point in the plane, this is the equation of the plane, in place of x, y, and z, then I can easily find out the value of lambda. So after finding the value of lambda, if I substitute it back here, I will get the point where the line and the plane are meeting. So this is the point where line and plane are meeting. So, so now we have two distances and we can apply distance formula between them easily or we can also find out vector AB like OB minus OA and apply magnitude which will be like this and we will find the distance between the plane and the point. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe it and you can share it with other students also. And in the next and third video, I will cover the rest of the concept of the vectors, equation of the plane or in which terms, in which connections vectors are asked. Thank you very much.